our Nash class. So this time we're going to look at joining our O to P and A. Now I think to start with we need to practice our O. Remember I'm going to keep it within the black lines, going anti-clockwise around and then leading out along that top line. That lead out is really important. So around, anti-clockwise and then across. Trying to keep your O's the same size all the way along. Now, if I'm going to draw, uh, sorry, if I'm going to join B to O, I need to form my B down from the red line over. Now, this is the tricky bit coming out of the B. Start going clockwise, but then you've got to change direction and then lead out across the top. The lead out is what makes the O different to your letter A. So down, up and over, lead out into your O and across. We'll do one more. Down, up and over, start, but then change direction, lead out. Okay, now to look at your P joined to your O. Remembering from the last time that our P is a long letter. So down, up and over, and then just as we did before, stop, change direction, and back round. Down, up and over, then start your row and change direction. Do one more. Up, lead out and change direction. Good luck Willow Clash and Ash Clash. Ash Clash. See if you can do some of those practicing of joins.